This video is on Brocade's multi-chassis trunk, also known as MCT. MCT gives you the ability to virtualize two devices at the core or spine layer. This gives you not only link layer redundancy, but also node redundancy. In this design, the two middle devices are acting as my MCT cluster. On the left and right, I have third-party devices connecting into the MCT cluster using LATP. The third-party devices are not aware their lag is split across two physical devices. On the far end, I have two PCs. On the top left, I have the configuration for MCT cluster member 3010. On the top right, I have the configuration for MCT cluster member 3011. Each of the MCT cluster members has three lags configured. For example, on the top left, you see I have a lag configured 3004, which is connecting into the third party switch here, 3004 on port 1. I also have a lag connecting into switch 3005 on port 102. The third lag here is the inner chassis link, which is the link between the two MCT cluster members. On both MCT cluster members, I have three main VLANs. VLAN 20 is for client 2, VLAN 30 is being used for client 3, and VLAN 490 is the MCT session VLAN where the control traffic is used. For each of the MCT members, there's three virtual interfaces defined. One for VLAN 20, one for VLAN 30, and one for the MCT session VLAN. Under each of the VEs for the clients, I have enabled VRP extended. This is the physical IP address, and this is the virtual IP address. For VLAN 30, the VE30, this is a physical IP address on 3010. And here is a physical IP address for 3011. And both of them have the virtual IP address of 3.254. Here is the MCT configuration. Both are defined under cluster MCT1. For 3010, I gave it an average ID of 100. For 3011, I gave it an average of 101. I specify the session VLAN. I specify which VLAN belongs to the MCT cluster. I also specify which link is being used as the inner chassis link. I also specify who the MCT peer member is. And underneath here, I show the two clients and what interfaces they belong to. Now I'm going to run a quick test. I'm going to disconnect the links on 3004 first. And you'll see that in the background, the link 11 went down. I lost one pin there. Let me disconnect the other link. Let me disconnect the links on see here that the cluster is up and running. It's been up for about 51 minutes. And that's it. Thank you again for watching the video.